Hello. Hi, guys. Can we start? Hi, Vinny. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Mikel. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, Mikel, first of all, just uh, tell us your thoughts on the performance tonight. Well, obviously, a really tough uh, place to come. Um, they are a really good side. Um, we are staying in the game for almost the whole match. Uh, having the lead, I think we should have handled that situation a little bit better. We conceded the goal too, too early, uh, straight after that. But um, we competed throughout the game, knowing um, the difficult moments that you're going to have to have when you come at, at Anfield. But as well, we really believe that we could get something out of the game. And when we had the clear chances uh, to make it 2-2, um, we didn't score. And obviously, you want to get out something out of the game here. You have to do that. Mikel, Gary Neville picked up in commentary um, and made a point of saying how much greater resilience this Arsenal side has at the moment. But what does a game like tonight also tell you about what further improvements you need to make to get closer to the likes of Liverpool and really be challenging for those top spots? Well, we are in a different journey to them. They've been together for five years. They weren't able to do what they've done tonight two or three years ago, that's for sure. So they have a lot of good work, a lot of belief, the way they play, great recruitment and improve the players that they have. And uh, this is what we have to try to do. They set the bar, probably the best standard that the Premier League have seen in many years. So this is where we have to get there. And, and obviously, we are still a long way to go there. But as manager as well, what greater confidence do you take from seeing that resilience that the lads are showing as well? Uh, honestly, that's what I, I told them, that I applaud that with all the problems that we can have or issues or, or things in, in some processes throughout the game, mostly when we had the ball in, in difficult areas to pick uh, the right pass, to make the right decision, to read much better the game moments. Uh, but still, they believe that the player had even a half time. I could see that they still believe that they could get something out of the game. We tried to put them under as much pressure as, the, as we could. We were really aggressive trying the high press in, in many moments, but Van Dijk plays a 60-yard pass to, to Salah's chest. And, and they are out and you have to try about 50 meters, you know, and, and this is real quality and that's where they spend the money they've done, so credit to them. James, Football London. Hi, hi Mikel. Um, Alex looked really distraught after he came off there. We saw him with his shirt uh, covering his head. Have you spoken to him since full time? How's he feeling? So who, sorry? To, to Laka. Yeah, well, because they want to win. And this is what I like, uh, the mindset of the team, that they want to go to any ground, they want to win. The boys were really disappointed uh, to lose the game um, because they really believed that we could come here and, and do it. And, and for the largest period of the game, we were straight there. Obviously, he had the best chance in the game to make it 2-2 and then, again, put us in a really strong position. But uh, he had a great game. He put an incredible performance again, and, and I'm pleased with him. Obviously, it's, uh, it's only a week until the, the transfer window closes. Um, there's been talk during the game um, from Leon about Hussein Awa. We know you've made a bid. Is there any news on Awa? Is he a player you'd like to sign? We don't have any news on, on new players and, and neither with players that uh, they might leave the football club. It's, it's a week to go. I think it's going to be really busy for all the clubs because not much business has been done. So let's see what happens. Do you think it's going to be really busy for you? I think it's going to be really busy for the Premier League. I don't know for us uh, how it's going to happen.